गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वी आर यू होस्ट माइकल एंड रिथविक एंड वी वेलकम यू टू अर्थ दिस वीक इंडिया एंड यू एस ए द को चेयर्स ऑफ द कोल्यूशन ऑफ डिजास्टर रिजिलियंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर होस्टेड अ कॉन्फ्रेंस फ्रॉम वेनेसडे द फोर्थ ऑफ मे टिल गेस्ट ए डे विद यू ऑब्जेक्टिव टू डिस्कस द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस इन मैनेजिंग एक्सट्रीम वेदर कंडीशन लाइक द मार्च एप्रिल हीट वेव्स इन इंडिया इंटरेस्टिंग प्लीज टेल एस मोर अबाउट दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ कोर्स रिथविक This year's conference had two themes. First was how do we ensure the infrastructure system of the future, the transitioning infrastructure system such as renewable energy system, are resilient to disaster and climate shock. The other was how can we make infrastructure system somewhat people centric? How can they provide sustainable solution in a dependable fashion to people? Wow, I am so happy that our government is taking such initiatives. Me too, Rithvik. Moving closer to home, the new town authority started a survey to identify places where construction materials are stacked up, or waste is dumped, blocking pavements, bicycle lanes, or portion of the road. Last week, according to New Town Kolkata Development Authority regulation, no material should be stacked on the road, service road, or pavements, and the builders must not dump construction waste into sewage. or drain it channels this seems rather out of the blue what brought this on michael well with wick construction materials like sand cement so- stone chips and bricks as well as waste dumped along the roads in new town are a common sight they not only create problem for the pedestrian and motorist but also block gully pits and drain it channels several parts of new town went under water when the city was lashed by heavy showers in last september In some areas the water couldn't be drained out for at least a week. To prevent a rerun, the NKTA has cleaned up the rainwater drainage channels and pits. This has certainly come at the right time. Is there any punishment for violators? Yes, Rithvik. Another NKTA official said a fine of 50000 would be imposed on those who do not comply with the guidelines for stacking up of construction materials and dumping of waste onto the roads and drains. Well, This is certainly impressive. Hope this measure is efficiently followed through. And now, let's move on to the AQIs for this week. Hello everyone. The average AQIs of major cities in India over the last 7 days has been mainly moderate, poor, satisfactory and good. So let's check out the AQIs of some of these cities. Chennai had the average AQI of 161 micrograms per cubic air which is moderate. Delhi had the average AQI of 226 micrograms per cubic air which is poor. Kochi had the average AQI of 96 micrograms per cubic air which is satisfactory. And now let's check out the AQIs of other Indian cities. And finally we have Kolkata with the average AQI of 46 micrograms per cubic air which is good. And that is all for this edition of Earth this week. We'll be back with more green news for you. Until then stay safe and love the planet you're on.